Uh, we haven't done a safety video in a while, and this is one with ball in hand. Um, so my opponent, or actually myself, scratched on the brake, and trying to run it out is a little bit tough, so I'm considering the safety here. Just trying to figure out where to line up the ball. I can show you the break if you want to. It's a little embarrassing. And there's my safety, and it's a good one, and what determines a good one is I'm locked up, or in other words, frozen to the six ball, taking out uh, both sides rails and the top rails. So the only way to really hit this one ball is to kick it, and just hitting it is not going to be good enough. Um, and we're going one long round down, and I did hit it, but I left an open shot for him, so that's the way that one's going to go. Let's go back and look at the break. Yeah, yeah, I drew it off the rack and just kind of trickled in there. This is not a good break. And I'm looking at the 5 7 tied up, the 4 ball on the rail over there, and I just don't like it. And a lot of people don't wake up to this, but you already have your opponent on one foul. And you could easily get him on two here if you get a little bit thought. And there you see me trying to figure out how I want to do this. And this is the key is uh, freeze him up on. You know, the ball you're trying to get behind of, not just, you know, get behind it, but try to freeze them up on it too, and it just takes away all kinds of angles that uh, your opponent's going to need to try to hit it. And now it's the run outs back to the person who played a safety, and it's still a tough rack, so I don't know, you're just going to have to wing it. And either try your best to run out until you get in a little bit of trouble, leave yourself a little bit of room there to play another safety. So, I don't know. The fans don't like safeties, but they're a necessary evil in the game of pool. Here's another one right off the break. And let's look at the break from the start this time. Oh, I'm going to scratch. Everything was looking good until that three ball rolled up in front of one ball. That's a problem there. Another problem would be the four ball, but I think I can shoot that in the side. We have to play a safe here. Uh, let's either shoot the four nine combination or see if I, I can't tell what this camera angles the four goes in the side. Um, but the three one or the one three combination is just out of the question, so it's definitely a safety play here. Let's see what I do. Looks like I'm rolling up behind this. Yeah, I'm gonna aim to hit the four and get behind the seven five. And the problem here is. And it's not bad, but it, any decent uh, player is going to shoot a safety back at you here. Because they can definitely hit the one ball on the short rail. But can they get safe back on you? That's an art right there. And it was well done. Um, so now, you know, the ball is back in the court of the player who shot the original safety. So safety can backfire in if you're playing a really strong player. It's just not good enough to just swing it if they're trying to get safe back on you if they can't make the balls. And see, there's a foul, so, so the original safety really backfired here. Let's see what happens here. This isn't right off the break. I actually I try to get in a position to break out two balls, and you'll see this five ball roll up and lock up on the four ball. Which otherwise, I mean, it was a good break. It, it would have been an easy run out. So I'm trying to get in position on the two ball in order to break out the five four. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to play some kind of safety. Um, I 
do have another option here, and it's to play the combination on the 2-6, while again trying to break out that 5-4. Yeah, and it's all going on at the same time. There's a combination on the 2-6 and the breakout on the 5-4. But I missed the breakout. Um, and I still have one more chance, but I, it's nearly impossible, and I'm going to miss the 5-4. Um, yeah, I go way long past it. So now, this is an attempt to kick and stick. And it's an attempt to kick the four ball up table while getting behind the five. And it's it's a pretty bad. Yeah, you see how the key ball rolled out of there? And not only did it roll out, it left my opponent an easy out. So, yeah, that's there's an F. This is my first F in a safety video. But I can't. Well, all right. Yeah, it's an F. <laughs> it's an F. Alright, I don't know why I'm playing this from the break, but we are. And I, I start out with a 1-9 combination, and it's pretty pathetically easy, but uh, we have a problem here with the 2-ball, and we have to play a safety on the 2-ball. Um, because I'm not going to be able to shoot the one ball. Well, see, I, I spot the nine ball up if I have a situation like this. Um, so we're just going to get through the one nine. But I'm already looking at the two, even though we have our hands full at the start of this game. So let's just do away with this nine ball and take it from there. So I'll spot that back up, and, and now I'm looking at the shot I have on the one, and can I knock out the two ball? And the answer is no, so I'm not even going to try to knock out the two ball, but I am forced to play a safety on the two. So we're just going to cinch the one, bounce back up, and now it's safety time. You see, it's not shot good. My agenda here should be to freeze up the cue ball on either the four or the six right there. Probably better on the four. And I went way long. Um, so now I do, I can actually kick this to make it. Um, but the five ball is getting in the game here and it's kind of screwing up the angle. And I'm not sure what a pro would do here. They would probably kick it to the left round, try to actually make the two. And I'm taking another look at it. And I'm, I'm actually shooting this two ball to make it, but where's the cue ball going, and can I get it on the floor? And there's where the cue ball is going, and uh, say la vida. Yeah, oh, we're playing eight ball, so this is going to be an eight ball safety. And again, I don't know why I'm starting from the break, but it's beginning to be a trend. So now we're playing APA rules here, so I don't have a suit until I actually make a ball. And I believe I'm shooting this nine ball, so that'll give me the stripes. There's really no sense in playing a safety if you know all the balls are out on the table and nobody's decided on what they want it would be kind of strange and a waste of time anyway and we're, we're shooting i don't well you see that tie up there i believe it's 11 14 maybe right there and that's going to be our problem. So I'm trying to break that out as we go here. Um, but then I get in a position where the safety is actually easier than trying to break it up. So that was kind of a weak attempt to break out that cluster. And if I had succeeded, then I would just go ahead and run these out. But I didn't succeed. And... You know, I could keep trying here, but it's a better decision to go ahead and play a safety now. 
And this is being shot was top right to bounce off the rail and yeah, it's really pretty good here. And he has a lot of balls to swing at, but in the position we were in, I'm giving this a B plus. Um although I think I see an opening here. And I do, and I'm actually shooting this to make it. And it wasn't much of an opening, but I swung at it, and... Yeah, it's back to the original safety player, and he should be out. That's the whole point of playing safe. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I appreciate it.